All right, hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Pretty much right off where I left off last time, right in front of, um... Is that a bear? Oh, it's a horse. Oh, is that a horse? Oh, it was a deer. Oh, an elk. Okay, cool. I was wondering what that was, my god. But yeah, pretty much here where we left off last time from uh, Hamish, I think, so... Which is good. So anyway, I think we've got a nice selection of missions today that we can do, this episode at least. We've got the one with Micah, the one with Dutch, and the one with Captain Monroe, I think, up at the Wapiti Reservation. Up where, like, Eagle Flies and Rains Falls lives. Rains Fall. I keep calling him Rains Falls, but... Uh, but yeah, we'll go help Dutch out. I think Dutch wants to help out Eagle Flies with... Uh, with whatever, I think with the military, the mission description yeah. was saying, so that should be nice and fun. On a side note, I am kind of hoping from here on out, I sound a little bit more consistent with my, like, audio quality. I got a new, like, microphone boom arm. Well, it's not really a boom arm. It's more, oh, sorry. Technically it is, but it's like bloody sa auto save. Yeah, sorry, bloody auto save there, like, screwed me up as per usual. But yeah, as I was saying, so yeah, technically it is a boom arm, yeah. but it's more of a low profile one. So it sits like a bit lower, which is good because it means I can actually have it like in front of my face nicely instead of like the boom arm that kind of sits up and, and then sort of to the side. So hopefully I sound better or at least more consistent with um, how loud I sound. Because I think the biggest problem I had is like, because I had it to the side of my face and, oh, <laughs> got a bat, funny bat. Oh my God, is I, what the hell is my horse doing? Jesus Christ. I was gonna say I was gonna laugh because we literally were just here yep. <laughs> end of last episode to get the chunupa from these rats down here. I wonder if they respawn on a side note, that would be <laughs> rather funny. Go for round two to get a chunupa back. What is my horse doing? It is like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was saying, it my old boom arm was like, was holding my mic to the sort of side of my face. So I think if I ever really turned my head, uh, well, they're still all dead, which is good. So yeah, at least now with it, it'll um, the microphone will be in front of my face like consistently, and I should sound fine. I should sound like the same level of loudness, which is good. A little bit more production value. So anyway, we'll get to this mission, and I'll stop yapping. I've been yapping for a good like five minutes, so <laughs> should be good. Anyway, see you guys there in a sec. Anyway, here we are. Looks like they're what are they doing here? They're being awfully suspicious. The the lot of them. It just, is it just Dutch or is um Charles here too? I like that there's a wagon full of explosives. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell oh. of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever <laughs> it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have it's energy gonna... for pranks? Come yeah. on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. You just fan, fan in the flames, buddy. It's gonna make it worse for these poor guys. It's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and will disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? Yeah, no, pretty much. No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. <laughs> These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Yeah, exactly. Sure we are. Funny Come way on. of spinning everything. Let's get this done. All right. But yeah, like I said, he's got to answer for everything and a way to spin everything too. All right. What's this spool? We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. All right. Okay. All right. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep looking okay, from up here. Oh, good to know. Well, I guess it's probably a good thing that we do the dirty work rather than uh, let them get seen. All right, Arthur, let's attach this. Well, hopefully it blows the tree down in the correct direction because 
<laughs> be unfortunate if it, if it didn't. But I guess we're blowing this chunk off here. Like, if that makes any sense. So it should fall onto the road nicely. And at least, uh, at least we don't have Bill Williamson uh, setting it up like last time with the train. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. You happy? After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. <laughs> Am I a loose end? Or is John a loose end? It was funny, I was reading that someone made a good point that it was almost a bit, like, wrong to see Colm hang. Because it, uh, kind of took away from the happiness of the early part of the game where we had that rivalry, rivalry with them. Come on now, quick! Get back up here! All right, okay, sounds good. let's go, Arthur! All right, let's get out. I don't really want to hang down here too long. I've been taking a sweet ass time. I've got a Carcano rifle. I don't know where on earth I got that from. I'm pretty sure I selected my shotgun to start the mission, but who knows? Hurry! I think I see some movement in the distance. Right. And where do you see movement? Just sit next to Dutch. Oh Quick no! Quick now, Arthur! Everyone into position. All right, all right. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, that's the signal. Here they come. What's Stay signal? low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Oh, like I said, up, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. And we, like, are so easily seen up here. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed the first chart. Perfect. Too easy. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down yeah. your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? <laughs> what oh, now? more guys. Move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. I shoot them. Oh. Your friends fired first, soldier! Oh. Well, that's true. They did fire first, so... I won't be happy about this. They fired first. Yeah, that's true. There's another patrol. This is going on. Looks like we got a fight, then, boys. This is good, though. I don't say I like this though. There's like a lot of guys. The thing is, we're like taking them. Look out! Hold oh, shoot. Your right, I should actually shoot them like this. Otherwise, I can. Well, at least I can take them out a bit better. You started this. That is true. They did. Is this what you but this was still a stupid plan. You fools! You damn fools! It's the army. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly. Then we move. Oh my god. Arthur's the only one with sense, though. Jesus Christ. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. All you right, need anything fair my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Yeah, after we just killed a whole platoon of soldiers. You love Arthur's the only one with sense, though. Oh, looks like I got what we need. Oh, well, Dutch does. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Yeah. Keep looking. <laughs> oh, shit. How was that? A grenade or? Ah, back Shit. up. Everyone, keep your heads down. We're gonna get out of there. Ah, oh, it's a cannon. You're finishing them. Jesus Christ. Don't pay for that. Oh, 
I guess this will pay for that. It's like we restarted it. What can we do here, Dutch? This is a lot of men. Just hold your ground. Surrender. And they'll hang you all. Try to flank them, Arthur. We'll shoot you some space. Yes, right, we need enough. to take out that cannon. Up the hill. The cannon. Take out the spotter, Arthur. Yeah, oh my god, I'll run up. I'll just flank it like this, I'll be fine. Got bloody so many bullets in these guns. You know, I could have just shot him like without uh, <laughs> dead eyeing him, but cool. <laughs> Where's Peta? Oh, dead him. Pretty good. We're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to this plan. Is a weird I'm trying. Mission. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> run! They're gonna be sticking around on the cannon fire. Where's he, the flash? Run, son! Run! Just leave him. Come on! This oh, no, he'll be fine. Be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now, what about eagle flies? We hey, gotta be go, fine. Arthur. Come on. Hey, we need to ride hard. Stay with me. Yeah, sure. I don't know why we attack them so close to their like outpost though, or their fort. Not the smartest idea. Left here, into the trees. Okay, dokes. It wasn't really a left. It was more of a straight. But okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. All right. Let's carry on by foot. And try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see oh, if we can lose them good. down here. You're a dead man. Shit. I Shit. guess not. Jeez, where did he come from, though? You're dead. Where are you guys spawning in from? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. Like I'm really no me map markers on. Can you, you're so bipolar in where you want to go. My god. You're like running one way. Can't actually see them. My god. They're like pretty well camouflaged. Oh god. There's a lot of here. Jesus Christ. Right, now I see him. Oh, these pistols feel so good today. Alright. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not good. I don't like where we're. Oh no. Alright. Alright. I like this though. Like holding them off. There's nowhere else to go. I'm trying to. I really should have kept my M1911s because they uh they reload fast. It was like these I gotta kind of reload manually. Yeah, it was a whole platoon's worth of them. This is a losing battle, Arthur. Oh, we gotta do something. I'll hold them here. Move. All right, all right. Oh, keep running. There's literally nowhere to go though. We're like on the cliff face. <laughs> literally. This is it. This the final stand. Well, Arthur. <laughs> it's how it ends. Put your hands up. Oh my God. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. <laughs> you always Hello, got a plan. officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. All right. Hello, Captain. Oh. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man. I don't like this. Those men they killed? They were good men. You saw the ones we killed. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. Jeez, this is tense, though. You can't fight. All right, let's jump. <laughs> Oh god, that would be oh into rocks. That'd be terrifying. And luckily we didn't hit anything either. I can't imagine this is too shallow though. Oh, don't hit me, please. Like one stray bullet, and I'm dead. I think um I'm pretty sure there's like I know that 
obviously there's the thing with Dutch at the end of the first game with the cliff. Oh, come on, come on, save me, please, please. Yep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, thanks. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. Uh, what a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split yeah, up. that's true. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Yeah, Keep thanks. a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. Yeah. I can feel it. <laughs> faith, Arthur. Have faith. Jeez. See, like, Dutch was good there, you know? I like him when he's like that, you know? That felt like just a nice regular mission from very early on in the game. Outside of shenanigans, but... But you can feel Arthur's just sick of it. He's tired. Oh, like how we've set up a camp in the middle of nowhere. Jeez, I've got 22 pieces of meat that I can cook. I haven't really, like, bothered to, to cook. It's just more like a pain in the ass that you can only cook one at a time. I mean, you've got, like, 20 to cook. It's such a seeds. Mm, here you go, horsey. I haven't, like, actually given you a nice pat in You're all right now, ages. Girl. Thing. God, I actually feel bad for my like original horse. The thing in terms of what we got now, it's literally just the two Micah, the Micah mission and the Captain Monroe mission. So I reckon we'll go do Captain Monroe because he's just here, which is nice. Like, I'm happy to. Oh my god! Like I don't know what's been going on. The controls have been so wonky. Like this whole playthrough, like this episode. I don't know whether like my Bluetooth connection's been weird, but I almost feel like there's a bit of like controller lag, weirdly. Yeah, that's what it is. It feels like it's laggy. I don't know. It's so weird. But yeah, anyway, we'll go um, see him. I actually just genuinely do not remember what I did with Captain Monroe last time. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, like, he's literally just here. So we'll go and give give Homie a, a visit, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. My God, I've not been up to these, like, geysers, geysers, geysers in a long time. Literally one of these... Oh my god, I can't even remember. There's like a um, like a map, like a treasure map, and one of the spots is literally, I think, at one of these, like, geysers. That you um, there's like a rock you pick up or something. Such a long time ago, but yeah, you can get a gold bar out of it if you want to check out <laughs> the earlier episodes. I think I show it at least. I don't know. Such a long time ago. I've like actually been playing this game for nearly a year. You know, at this point, it's taken me, which is just nuts. And I'm actually at this point a bit scared to like, I don't know what to play next, like once I finish with this game, because we are really well and truly nearing the end of this game. We're up to part 50, this will be part 54 or 55. I reckon we've only got another like 10 or so parts left and then like this is it. So unless like I milk it a bit longer, but you know, who really knows. Mr. Morgan. Hey, uh, Mr. Captain Hello. Monroe. Here I am as promised. You're, you're a nice man. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Well, they're all sick. The thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favor seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. <laughs> he'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. 
No. <laughs> this is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. <laughs> yeah, I'll get okay. this wagon for you. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. And yeah, let me do the work. I don't want you to get uh done. Florida cracking so cow, this Colonel Favors. Big cat. He knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. Uh, he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Jeez. Okay. That it has. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially I'll if Eagle Fly is now in prison at Fort Wallace. Oh. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much yeah, worse. That's true. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. That's true. Anyway, it's funny how he kind of says about Rain's Fall or Eagle Flies being imprisoned. Like, I wonder if I did this mission before whether he would have said instead. Like, if he would have made any different reference to it. But I'm glad that right. they did that. Does that make this sense? Spot. Cool. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Perfect. Make my life easy. It'll be interesting trying not to kill them, but unfortunately, I think I'll have to if they uh, end up being a bit difficult. Oh, here we are. Literally perfect. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear <laughs> this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. <laughs> if you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. <laughs> all I do is clean. Well, yeah, I'll good say luck. That. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Yeah, that's true. This will be interesting. I wonder yeah. if I can, like, maybe sneak up behind it, potentially. Oh, I wonder if I can maybe jump onto it. Hold it right there. Yeah. Whoa, you better put that down right now. We'll open fire if we have to. Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? We're the United States Army. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Oh. Can I shoot his gun, I wonder? Oh, I don't want to shoot you, that's the thing. I want to like shoot the gun out of your hand. Oh my god. The thing is, I don't want to shoot you though, that's the thing. Actually, I wonder if I can steal the whole thing. Oh my god, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, don't get on, don't get on, don't get on. Hey, get off here. Literally did not want to kill him, that's the thing. Well, the thing is, they won't chase me far anyway. Oh, even if I just dump it here. Whoa, that was a sick fucking drift. Yeah, literally, I just gotta get up here and. Mind you, I could have just probably just jumped onto it from behind and uh, <laughs> nicked it like this. There we go, perfect. Got it all. Sweet. 
Oh, here they come. <laughs> like, are they shooting at me, though? Oh, see you, fellas. Oh, where the hell did I get the M19 pistols from? What the f was I holding them the whole time? That's so weird. I must have picked it up by accident. Anyway. Well, hey, at least I didn't kill him, which is good. You know, <laughs> managed to somehow steal it and uh, run off. Also, on a side note, since the last time I recorded, uh, Xbox had their, like, game showcase. And my god, I gotta say, I'm absolutely pumped for Gears of War E-Day. Like, that just looks... Like, I know it was just an in-game cinematic, but I'm so goddamn excited for that. Like, I gotta say, as a kid growing up, Gears of War was just, like, such a good game. All three of them. And then, uh, I'm gonna say 4, 5, and... Well, sorry, literally just 4 and 5. I think we're okay. Like, gameplay-wise, they, they kept it in line with uh, the originals, which was good, I guess, but... It's kind of just the same story, or well, slightly tweaked, you know. Whereas at least with E Day, it'll be like the start of the start of the war, which will be sick. Something different, you know. Oh, sorry, not something different, but kind of similar. But yeah, I don't know. But still, awesome. That looks great. That'll be definitely be a game that I'll want to play when it comes out eventually. Anyway, here we are back at camp. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Okay, cool. Hey, Captain. Captain Monroe. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Yeah. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. Yeah, that is I true. I hope so. That is true. Kill. Well, that's that done. Oh, God, those cows are terrified of me. God, you know, Red Dead's so weird with, like, their names, because, like, of, like, the cities. Because, like, Florida clearly exists in New York and Tahiti in Australia, but then... Like, I know that GTA is not the same universe, but then we've got weird-ass towns like Valentine and New Austin. And it's weird, like, it seems like America's got a bunch of made-up names of cities and stuff, but then they've got real cities as well. So, I don't know. But anyway. Ooh, there's a Josiah Trelawney mission. God, we've not seen him in a while. I think he, he popped up back at camp at some point anyway. You know what? That could be a fun mission to do. I'm kind of like... Not wanting to do, not wanting to do the mission with Micah just yet. So go and do that back at camp. In the meantime, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. So adios.